We joined FinTalk and for three days we got to see the money grow. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, it's Gerald Callen and welcome back to The Journey. As a reminder, I am not a financial planner, nor is this financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. To stay up on everything that's happening here at The Journey, be sure and hit that subscription button if you have not already done so. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell to be notified of all future uploads. I will always leave links to the programs I am participating in under the video in the show more area. If you'd like to move forward with any of those programs, make sure you take your time and do your due diligence prior to investing. Be sure and watch the video to the end as I will link other interesting videos. Thank you all for watching. Everyone, you haven't seen me put out any videos on FinTalk. However, I am in the program. I joined, and I don't even remember when I joined, but three days later, the program went offline, and that's where we come into crypto being like a jungle. You go to bed and a program says you can only deposit ERC-20 on the USDT style. You wake up the next morning and they only want TRC-20. That's the part of the jungle that I talk about here. I joined FinTech and they went offline and I think June, June maybe they were going to come back anyway. Now it's July 22nd. I think I saw something in a telegram that the 25th, they're going to allow staking. You know, we went through a period there. You needed to provide liquidity. You needed to get on PancakeSwap. As a person that moves around very well in the crypto space, this was very challenging with FinTop. You know, I spoke with Samuel Patterson today, and he and I talked about that. And I said, you know what? Most of the journey do not even know that I'm in FinTalk. I'm going to make a video today about that. So thanks, Sam, for reaching out to me. And that started this initiative here. I'm in it, everyone. I believe I put $7,300 in it. I was making about $73 a day at 1%. And I had a team of five getting ready to come aboard. That would allow me to make 1.5%. They were going to come with at least 50K as a team so that uh, we could progress from there. Not sure where we're going to go now with FinTalk because we just need to see where they're going. Right now, I'm not sure where they're going. A lot of updates came out on FinTalk, and as a person that is used to change in this environment, it became overwhelming the amount of change that was coming. Sometime it would be 3.30 in the afternoon, and I would get a telegram that starts in 10 minutes. You need to go. It's going to be about FinTalk. Sometimes if your schedule didn't allow it, um, you didn't know what was going on. And all the time, my schedule did not allow it. And I've got a pretty liberal schedule, everyone. I try to stay up on as many programs that I'm in. Along with that, I'm also trying to weed out programs that I don't want to get in and also find programs that I may want to get in. But this video is about FinTalk, so let's stay on point. So with that said, FinTalk, FinTalk again, I know has been challenging for you all because... Again, things were changing like the wind around here. Things were changing like the wind around here. So we'll just have to kind of see where it goes. The biggest thing and the biggest reason I want to make this update is to let you all know I am in FinTalk. I'll do a quick screen print of my account. I want to say it's about 7,600 now. I went through the evolution. I went through Binance, I believe it was. I bought some USDT on the BEP network, BEP20, I believe it was. The Binance Smart Chain. I bought the Fin Main, the different fins that were out there. So I'm not sure which fin we're on now. Okay, everyone, this is just a quick snapshot of my account on FinTalk before I end the video. I believe, like I said, I started with about 7,300. So I was think I was making about $73 a day. So you can see on my node voucher balance and my FTC. Echo investment amount, they both equal the same. So looks like I got some money in the FTX, FTC exchange. I got a little liquidity somewhere, but overall you can see that's kind of where we're sitting at. So we'll kind of go from there. Everyone not have to provide any guidance because I am no one's upline. I joined and three days later, the program went offline. So no one has joined under me and I'm not pushing for anybody to join under me. I'm just saying that's the reason you haven't heard anything from me about it. 
but we'll see where it goes. I am in it. I'm sure my links are probably in the description. It's been a minute since I looked to see that since FinTech has kind of been a quiet evolution. But for those of you in it, I truly understand your pain because again, FinTech, FinTech, it was hard to get information to me. The videos that I saw out there with the pancake swap, with the liquidity, with the buying into things, some of those were very hard to follow as a person who can follow a video decently well. I don't want to act like I'm a guru at following videos. Some people can make them well and some don't. But uh, the ones that I ran across were not as easy to follow. And most of us probably, to include my upline, we really didn't know what was going on. And it hits a point where you almost throw your hands up and it's like, you know what, when they figure it out, I'll figure it out. So I truly understand what everybody went through because I had some feelings myself. And again, I think I take stuff pretty well. But again, just a quick update, everybody, let you know I am in FinTalk and we'll kind of see where they go. Because again, I did see something out saying staking was going to take place, I believe, on the 25th of July. And it's the 22nd of July. And then we'll just kind of see where they go with the different offerings that they have. Other than that, you all take care and we'll talk to you all on the next FinTalk update.